Jazz was born in New Orleans and had spent a lot of time growing up in Harlem. About 100 years ago, young black geniuses began creating a new style of music. That music changed the world, and its vibrations are still being felt across the globe. At the National Jazz Museum in Harlem, our mission is to preserve, promote, and present jazz by inspiring knowledge, appreciation, and celebration of this music locally, nationally, and internationally. We fulfill this mission by bringing exciting and diverse programming to an ever-expanding audience. At the heart of what we do is present live music. Our concerts at senior centers, at events across New York City, and right here at the museum showcase emerging talents, established professionals, and jazz icons. The museum provides a place for people to gather, discuss, share, and explore. Our year-round programs spark dialogues about our similarities and our differences. Our exhibitions explore key figures who help shape jazz and the historical and social context in which these musicians function. A highlight of our collections is the Historic Savory Collection. Recently discovered and released, it gives listeners opportunities to hear 1930s and 40s live radio broadcasts of Fats Waller, Ella Fitzgerald, Count Basie, and many other jazz legends. When school groups come to the museum, they're captivated by jazz, singing and dancing to the music of Louis Armstrong on our Victrola or Esperanza Spaulding on our listening station. Your support means so much to us. We invite you to join us in discovering and celebrating the creativity, diversity, and community that is jazz. Come make the National Jazz Museum in Harlem your home. Hi there. I'm so happy to welcome you to our free virtual jazz concert series with our community partners from all over New York City. I am Tracy Heider Suffern, Executive Director at the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. The National Jazz Museum in Harlem has teamed with some of New York City and the world's most incredible jazz artists to bring free virtual jazz concerts to you and to communities throughout all five boroughs of our city. While our focus with this project is to bring jazz to Black, Indigenous, and other communities of color and to LGBTQ plus students and audiences, our vision is to make jazz accessible to every person on the planet. We hope you know that includes you. We've created a menu of jazz for everyone to enjoy. This amazing program is supported by public funds from the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs in partnership with the New York City Council and the Coalition of Theaters of Color. We are deeply grateful for their support. We also owe very special gratitude to the National Arts Club who gave us space to record many of these performances. I know you will enjoy this presentation and I hope you'll let us know that you did. Enjoy. Jazz, it's freedom. Music, dance, poetry, help us travel through time and feel free. And Chabuca Grandas music, Chabuca Grandas, La Flor de la Canela, is poetry in motion. Chabuca Granda, Peru's most beloved composer and artist, wrote La Flor de la Canela in 1950, inspired by the beauty of marinera dancer, Victoria Angulo de Loyola. Jasmine blossoms in her hair and roses in her cheeks. La Flor de la Canela elegantly walked by, lovely and graceful. Para ustedes, nuestra Flor de la Canela. Déjame que te cuente, limeño Déjame que te diga la gloria Del ensueño que evoca la memoria El viejo puente, el río y la alameda Déjame que te cuente, limeño 
ahora que aún perfume el recuerdo, ahora que aún se mece en un sueño, el viejo puente, el río y la alameda, jazmines en el pelo y rosas en la cara, Airosa caminaba la flor, la flor de la canela, derramaba lisura y a su paso dejaba aromas de mixtura que en el pecho llevaba. Del puente a la alameda, menudo pie, la lleva por la vereda que se estremece al ritmo de su cadera, recogía la risa de la brisa del río y al viento la lanzaba del puente a la alameda déjame que te cuente limeño ay deja que te diga moreno mi pensamiento a ver si así despiertas del sueño del sueño que entretiene moreno sentimiento aspira de la lisura que da la flor de canela adórnala con jazmines matizando su hermosura alfombra de nuevo el puente y engalana la alameda que el río acompasará su paso por la vereda Y recuerda que jazmines en el pelo y rosas en la cara, airosa caminaba la flor, la flor de la canela, derramaba lisura y a su paso dejaba aromas de mixtura que en el pecho llevaba. Del puente a la alameda, menudo pie, la lleva por la vereda que se estremece al ritmo de su cadera. Recogía la risa de la brisa del río y al viento la lanzaba del puente a la alameda.